Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Laneside Reviews and on this episode we're going to be looking at a brand new ball in the Workshop Bowling Failsafe. Alright guys, so welcome back. As always, I'm the Bearded Beast, Rob Johnson, joined once again by Scoops Porter. And as we said, we're looking at a brand new company and some brand new equipment. So before we get into the actual equipment itself, let's talk about this company. It's called Workshop Bowling, and it is a crowdsourced bowling company. This is very different from what usually happens in yeah. the industry, where they create everything, make a run of X thousand balls, and then put them out. This company actually what they do is they take a test ball, put out a video, and allow people to vote by pre-ordering the equipment. And once it reaches a certain amount, well, the ball goes to press and everyone gets delivered. But those who didn't vote for that ball have an option of either buying that ball or just getting a refund. So there, it's, it's like Kickstarter for bowling. <laughs> So uh, it's, it's kind of an interesting concept that we've never seen, and it also makes each and every ball a limited edition, because that ball will never be made again. Yeah. So um, why don't you tell us a little bit more about what we found out? Well, they wouldn't say who actually poured the balls, mm -hmm. but we took a closer look and examined it like we do with everything, Yep. and we kind of looked at the serial number, and the serial number looks a little bit similar to Ebonite's serial numbers. So we believe that Ebonite does the pouring for them. So you know that you're going to get quality equipment from these guys. It's not like a... It's not like, like a fly-by-night fly by night thing. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. Um, you know, I'm not an Ebonite staffer. I'm a, yeah. I'm a Brunswick staffer. But, you know, Ebonite's been around for a for very, very long, long time. time. Yeah. I would think they know what they're doing. Yeah, exactly. Probably. Yeah. So um, now that we've told you guys a little bit about the company, why don't we get right to the ball itself and give you a little bit more insight? Alright guys, so now we're going to look at the second release, which is, of course, the Pop. Uh, now, this ball is shiny, but that's about all we really knew until you go on yeah. the website. One of the things about a, this crowdsourced company is that they don't really tell you what the cover, what the core is generally. They give you an idea of the motion, but they don't tell you yeah. what it is specifically, except with the Pop. So why don't you tell us more about it? Well, it's a low RG, medium differential symmetric ball. Okay. But this one has an exclusive core, so it's specially designed just for these guys. And you can see it right here. Boop! Okay. <laughs> the cover is finished at a thousand plus polish yep. for the box, and this ball is angular. Yeah, now in watching you guys throw this, this reminded me, a lot, I'm, I'm, and I know we talked about who pours this, yeah, or who we yeah. think pours this, yeah. but this ball reminded me a lot of like a high road. Yes. Yeah. Um, it seemed to I get agree. down yeah. lane and really come off the spot. It yeah. didn't seem to overread or underread no. the friction. Yeah, exactly. It was, it was pretty interesting watching yeah. you guys throw this. It's kind of easy to throw. Yeah, yeah you guys, yeah. well, I mean, you guys did had a pretty good time throwing it. Yeah. <laughs> but rather than listening to us talk about it, why don't we take it lane side and see how it's stacked up. All right, guys, here's Wayne Porter, our speed dominant player. It's bowling on the Defy house shot. Uh, now you can see that, uh, that the cool two colors in this ball almost disappear while he's throwing yeah. it. Um, which are the same two colors? No, similar. They, they similar. are similar. Very similar. Um, you know what? This is their first production run out. Yeah. So having uh, them share similar colors makes sense. Yeah. But this one's shiny. This one's shiny. Yes. You can tell the difference yes. as soon as you see this. Book. Yeah, for sure. Um, now I, you know, I have seen you guys throw the high road. Yes. This ball looked to me like that kind of shape in your guys' hands. Yeah. So it, wh what it, do you think your dad thought of this? Uh, I think he liked it. Um, he's had other balls that were, like, um, similar. Like, he's had the fight. Yep. And he said he's thrown the high road. And and um, the red fire quantum. Yep. 
um, hierarchy, stuff like that. And that's what this kind of goes. Like, you get down there, and it gets off the spot and makes a strong move, and he hits hard. Yeah. Now, it's interesting to me, because this is um, lower G, Yeah. but with the thousand cover and the polish, it yeah. does seem to act a lot more or like, like a, those higher yeah, G balls. Yeah, which is weird. Yeah. But <clears throat> but it does. It, but at the same time, it's a little bit more forgiving. Yep. Like, you don't have... Because it's not higher G, it doesn't... Boom, like you can see, it makes a strong move. Yeah, it's still it's still but, burning up a little energy. So when yeah. it's making an angular motion, yeah. but it's not turning sideways. Yeah, exactly. So you're gonna leave a little less, maybe like eight tens. Yep. <laughs> Which you know, I love eight tens. Now, one thing that we did notice is this ball yeah. reacts very quickly to friction. Yes. Um, so if you Even have more so than the fail save. Yes. Um, so if you have a big uh, friction spot to the right. You yeah. got to make sure you don't hit it too early because oh, yeah, exactly. this ball, yeah, this ball will. Yeah, you can see jump. when I'm throwing it, I'm trying, I'm riding the edge of the oil line just till about what you say, thirty eight feet. Yeah, well, that one's a little quick, but but yeah, it's all good. if you got yeah. it out early, yeah, you would see it move, yeah. and, and that's what an angular, a fast response ball yeah, is going to gonna, do. Yeah, for sure. Now here's Cam. Cam loves. This style of ball. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think he has three or four high roads. At least, At yes. least. Yeah. <laughs> he's got two of the original, and I think he's got a pearl and then the nano, doesn't he? Yeah. Um, I mean, and he did not He did not miss yeah. on this. He As soon as he threw it, he was like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, uh, I think I had to go find it in his bag when I went to throw it. Yeah. I shot after him. <laughs> but, oh, oh, my God. Wow, but I'm not sure about that one. I don't think he liked. That I one. think that was that was knocking down, <laughs> and I think the head right. pin knocked it back, back up. up. Yeah, just the energy gets off it. He stays in the oil longer. Yep, and just boom. This is the kind of ball um, that Cam really goes to, especially with his rotation. He needs to make sure the yeah. ball gets down lane. Yeah, but he needs to make sure that when it sees it, it turns, turns. and makes yeah, it run to like the pocket. That, yeah, and this this worked perfectly into his style again. Yeah. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for another show. If you like what you saw this episode and want to find out more, don't forget to follow us on Facebook at Laneside Reviews or click below. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel or click on the box. Or and if you missed our last video or just want to watch it again, you can click on the other box. And don't forget you can pick up any of the jerseys you see in our videos by using this coupon code at LogoInfusion.com. So until next time, guys, we'll see you Laneside.